Hello, super quick intro today. I'm going to be showing you how you can solve the Hanayama planet puzzle. Although we're going to do the disassembly slightly differently because I don't think it's going to be as much of a benefit going through the start to finish routine. And I'll explain more of that in a second. More importantly, I think it's going to be going through the reassembly, getting it from completely separated back to its original position. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so here is a Hanayama planet puzzle. And normally I would say here is a fully assembled planet puzzle, but this one is very close to actually being solved. And the reason for that is that I don't think it's going to be much use showing you the solution to get from the original position, which is lining up these lines here with these lines here, and then working from that position to a final position, because the chances are you're not in that starting position. You are somewhere in the middle. And because this puzzle isn't, too much of a challenge or it, it is a challenge but you're never going to not solve this one with time you will eventually find the right position and you will eventually separate the ball from the outside shell now i'm going to help you with finding that position but we're not going to go through the routine i'm literally just going to show you the final position so that you can then try and figure out your way to get to it because there are infinite positions that you are starting from and then infinite routines to get to that final position to separate it. And hopefully that makes sense to everyone. So essentially what I'm gonna do is show you the position that you are aiming for. And that position is here. So you'll see if I just simply take this shell piece off, I can do from this position here. Now I, I, for my preference, I always position it with the biggest gap facing north or up. I, I, that, that's how I solve it. That's how I orientate myself with the puzzle. So looking down at this position, what you want to do is orientate yourself with this nerd here and this nerd here. This one, there is only one on the entire sphere, on the entire ball piece. Uh, so it's very easy to identify. This one, there is two of them. I think there is one on this side just here. Uh, but there's only one that is right next to this nerd here. But as I said, I think this will be more helpful than showing you a routine that starts from a position that you are probably not in. What I am going to show you that is how you can get from this fully separated position back to the original starting planet puzzle position. And to do that, we need to first of all orientate with ourselves with each piece. So as I mentioned in the previous part, I always orientate myself. So we've got the planet part here facing this way, the honey armor engraving here. And I'm always going to keep this gold piece still and I want it so that I can see the biggest gap or the biggest gap is at the top of that piece because these two gaps are what I'm orientating the ball around. So once we've got this, this piece in this position, we're going to come in from underneath with the ball and we want to line up those two big nodes first. Again, this one here and this one here. And we're going to slide it into this position here. And you'll notice that it's these four pieces around here that are sliding through. Now, and we have a first choice to make. Do we have these two pieces on the top, on the top half, or the bottom half? And we want these two pieces on the top half, like so. And from here, the first moves we're going to do is we're going to do three moves clockwise. Now, that will make a little bit more sense in a second. So first of all, we're going to twist the sphere clockwise until we line up two pieces here and here to fall through. So they're going to fall through and that's once. We're going to keep turning clockwise and fall through twice. We're going to keep turning clockwise and fall through three times. So we end up in this position here. Once you've got this position, we're going to do anti-clockwise moves twice. So we're going to twist back this way. We're going to fall through once. And then, very easy to know whether you're in the right position for this one. The second fall through is the biggest nerd. And once that's fallen through, we should be in this position here. Then we're going back to clockwise movements and we're going two again. So we're going to twist, fall through once, fall through twice, and end up in this orientation here. Once we've done that, we're going back anti-clockwise and again for two moves. So we're going this way, fall through once, 
all through twice and we should end up here. Next, we're going clockwise just once this time. So we're going to twist around and we're going to fall through into this position here. And this is essentially the final position. All we now need to do is turn the sphere or the ball piece clockwise until the this line here on the ball lines up with this line here on the Hanayama outer shell piece. And that is how we reassemble the planet puzzle. So there it is. That is sort of how you disassemble the Hanayama planet puzzle and then how you reassemble it back into its original position. As I mentioned during the disassembly, I think just knowing what you are aiming for is going to be of more benefit than doing a routine from a certain point at which you are not in that position. Having said that, if you do have any issues or problems or questions, comment below and I will do what I can to help you where you need it. And thank you very much for being here. If you want to see me struggle through solving the planet puzzle or any of these other Hanayama puzzles for the first time, or the step-by-step -step solutions to all of these other ones, then be sure to click my face here to subscribe and I will see you next time. Peace.